say it's dry there. The winners for the anniversary skin contest in Korea for Lost Ark have been announced. It has come to a close, so these skins will be made and put into the game. If you're unfamiliar, you may recall a few weeks ago, I did a video covering most of the submissions for this annual skin contest, uh, but the winners have been selected by community vote and will be uh, created and put into the game. So today, we're gonna go through everything that won, and at some point, the West will get these skins, we hope. Uh, there, there's obviously a hope that we get these anniversary skins at the same time uh, that they do in Korea, but either way, the content will be created, and because it's new, it's likely to eventually uh, make its way into the Western client. So let's go! But first, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Who knows? I might even be streaming right now. Now, these are all the skins that were selected in a single image uh, on the website that they posted for the skin contest. Uh, there's one for every class, there's a mount, there's a pet, and we're gonna go through each of them, starting with the warrior. And what's cool about this is they do show the runners up. Um, I actually did cover the, I believe I covered this one uh, and this one right here, which ends up being pretty cool. Uh, they had some really creative uh, effects here, but the one that got first place with 70.7% .7 of the votes, this one was a landslide victory, uh, is this warrior here. So this is gonna be for the warrior uh, base class, uh, which includes all the warrior advanced classes. And it's kind of like this 20s, it's got a little bit of the 20s mafia, but it also has uh, a little bit more like Eastern Europe uh, commander or officer uh, presentation as well. It's a decorated soldier. It's got like the warrior logo uh, on the on, underneath the lapel there. So kind of interesting, a big coat. I'm curious to see what they do. Usually when they do these skins, uh, they end up um, creating variants. So there will be probably a black one and then maybe a white one or a blue one. Uh, so they'll have one or two variants of it. So in case you don't like the all black, uh, you'll still be able to use it. Uh, developers do this all the time because once the uh, character, the, uh, the actual skin itself is modeled, animated, rigged, and placed into game, changing the colors is... Uh, by comparison, uh, a little bit less of a cost because you've already had all these other departments uh, hand off pieces for it. So uh, it makes a lot of sense to do multiple colors of something uh, so that people get to uh, pick the one they like the most. Uh, so you can see the big coat coming down the side. You've got the cane. Uh, it looks like hat or maybe no hat. Now, again, with this, there's going to be an interpretation that Smilegate has when they place it into the game. Uh, there may be some issues with clipping or... You know, if maybe there's certain things that classes need, like maybe a gun lancer can't have a coat like this, and they're gonna have some adjustments. Uh, once their art team gets a hold of it, they'll have to implement it into the game. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. It's got like this very unique aspect, uh, and I can definitely see this being a popular one for Warrior. I will give a caveat before we move on. Uh, remember that this game is nearly four years old in Korea. Uh, there's there's definitely a lot of real life modern skins in this skin contest just keep in mind that they had three years of skins prior to this and there are a lot of you know armor fantasy skins i personally would love to see more fantasy but i have to uh, imagine that the reason that they're doing these kinds of realistic skins is because they already have a lot of other skins in the game um, and just feels kind of different for us on the outside um, this would be the different weapons so the left here would be paladin the single sword uh, would be an umbrella <laughs> that's completely folded up. Uh, the one here would be a gun lance, which is pretty cool. It's got like this riot shield uh, in the middle right here. So this thing, obviously, a riot shield with a little thing, which I think works with the gun lancer really well. Uh, and they've also got uh, over here, you got like this kind of gun lance modification. It has like this modern bayonet on top uh, that you can point with, and then the, the barrel as well. Uh, obviously, the massive hammer here is... That would be for the destroyer. I like the fact that it's just, it's honestly just a big hunk of metal. Uh, <laughs> it looks like almost like a construction hammer, but it's got like, uh, you know, down the hilt here. Uh, it looks like it's got some riot treatment to it. Uh, and then on the far right side here, I would guess would be the berserker. But I guess now looking at it, uh, maybe this, uh, you could probably see a giant umbrella for the berserker and then a smaller gun blade for the paladin. Uh, but I doubt it. I mean, it may be. I mean, either one could be interchangeable here. Uh, but it looks like this would be more Berserker here just by the way it's held and the thickness of it. 
um, but super cool, super interesting. Uh, they got some of these drawn out here, it looks like. Yeah, so the Paladin is the Umbrella, and then the uh, Berserker would be the giant gun blade, which is really cool. So you can see them in action there. And these are the Striker skins, so male martial artist. Uh, there's a good mixture here, and you can see by the votes that this was actually pretty close. Uh, unlike the Warrior, which won by 70% for the first one, this is 29, 24, uh, 19, 13, 12. So these are all pretty close. Uh, but the one that did win was this kind of, I, I don't even, I guess this is more like secret service, uh, like underground secret service kind of stream. It's very fancy. Looks like it's got like this inky snake coming around, which I think fits the, the striker really well. Uh, you got another underslung, overslung coat here, which they probably will have variations for. Uh, and then you just come down to the dress shoes. Uh, so this would be for striker. I like... I like the coat hanging down. I think there are plenty of these in the in the game already, uh, but the coat hanging down, you know, kind of like this shape here uh, is pretty nice because then you can have it flow around, especially with the striker who tends to keep their upper body kind of blocked out and then they move a lot with their feet uh, animation wise. I think that looks really cool. Uh, and then this would be the inky snake. It kind of reminds me of Sai from Naruto, uh, but it's got like that kind of, you know, spiral effect to it. Uh, you actually have some skins right now that play off of this. Uh, like the hermit skin has some some uh, designs that go along with that, uh, plus the glove, which is pretty cool. I doubt they'll do the cigarette. There are some countries that don't uh, allow smoking, uh, so generally um, you don't really have this showing up, but maybe. I wish they played up the ink creature, the ink snake on the side here, a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I, obviously it's kind of like a modern skin, but it does look really slick. He's even got a tie bar. He's vibing. Uh, he's looking good, feeling good. And here we have the female martial artist. This one was a much stronger victory. 48% of the votes uh, went to this one here. And you can see the runners up. Uh, so just kind of quickly run through those. You can see that there's different options here. Uh, obviously, these smaller weapons, I think, are very favorable. Uh, 15, 9%, 25%. This one actually came kind of close. Um, a little bit more punk. Uh, it almost like feels like it's a mix between Final Fantasy and Metal Gear. Uh, it kind of has that vibe to it. But this is your victor here. Uh, this is uh, the female martial artist. So it looks like she's got like some, you know, platform boots. Uh, she's got like these uh, kind of stockings. And then it's almost like um, it, more of like a modern boxer. These are like kind of athwear um, with, uh, you know, the, the ponytails on the side. There probably will be variations to that. Um, again, you have the big coat with Lost Ark on the back of it. Uh, you've got some options here for Silhouette, which is always nice. Uh, but it's kind of like a combat uh, gym enthusiast with athwear, ath athwear athletic wear uh, combined together. Uh, so, you know, honestly, I don't know if I would use this on any of my martial artists, uh, but it does look really cool. And I think it looks like on this side, we may be getting um, these here. There's a few skins that have small gauntlets for war dancer and uh for scrapper and these end to be end up being really popular because it means that you can hide the weapons while still having a weapon skin um and that's pretty cool and it looks like there might be a bow staff uh here for the uh for actually the weapons are really cool this looks like a bow staff for the glavier which is really unique uh, i wonder what they're going to do with the spear and the glavier difference and then it's like a, a cloudy moon for the soul fist uh which would be actually really cool i'd love to have one of those on my soul fist. So I think the weapons sell it for me. Uh, the skin is pretty cool. Uh, it's not, it doesn't, you know, I'll be honest, it's not like the most insane skin, but it's it's cool. Next is male gunners. Uh, and it looks like we actually have a very fancy style theme starting to develop here. Uh, you can see the runner, runners up. We actually covered, I think almost all of these uh, in the original submissions video that I did. Um, this one was one of the ones that I thought was gonna be pretty cool. Kind of like the destiny vibe to it. Um, but it looks like uh, this was the victor here in Korea. Uh, another fancy kind of, uh, it's almost like they're, again, it's like Secret Service, right? Like Kingsman style, I guess. Um, you can see with the hat, without the hat, uh, the weapon itself is the umbrella. Uh, usually with the gunner skins, they sell the weapon the most because it has so many different variations, right? You have rifle, shotgun, and pistol. So that's, uh, we'll check those out here. You can see that, you know, I, it, it's a nice, cool thing. It might be fun to mix and match this with other skins as well. Uh, there's the top hat and the coat. And then this is where it really comes together. So you can see that this is the uh, weapon set. Uh, on the right, on the left here, we have Dead Eye. 
So it looks like the rifle is this um, kind of secret weapon. It's an umbrella with like a little trigger on the side, uh, a pretty common, more like riot shotgun, pump shotgun, and then more of a Magnum revolver here on the far left. Uh, and then the, the, sh the sharpshooter seems like it is more of a, uh, it's just kind of like a traditional uh, composite bow you'd, you'd see in, in modern combat. And then the scouter one <laughs> is a briefcase weapon because the scouter has an SMG. Uh, so I guess they would be able to walk around with an, a, a briefcase and then be able to pull it up like shown here and have the briefcase. And the last one is pretty unique. Uh, it is a coffin for uh, for the artillerist. This kind of gives me vibes of like Vash the Stampede, uh, the giant cross having weapons in it, this big ridiculous weapon. Um, and it, it is a very unique shape. Um, obviously the thing with artillerists is they have to be able to morph this weapon into a rocket launcher and he's have an attachment on the back for a flamethrower, uh, right? This on this front here needs to be able to open up. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of considerations I'm sure when they develop this, but this is the male gunner skin that won. And this is the winner for the female gunner. Uh, these are all the runners up here. Uh, as you can see kind of like uh, quite different actually, but these two, this one feels like it's more, <laughs> it actually is more like the other skins we've been seeing, that kind of Mafia, Kingsman, Fancy. Uh, so this would have fit with the theme, but this is not the one that won. Um, we actually did look at almost all of these, I think, in the submissions video. But this one won with 61% of the vote. It looks like it is um, kind of like your, these kind of like slick, bound black high boots, uh, tight, these like tight pants, um, and then like an overcoat you got very short overcoat patches. It's got a little cross there. I'm sure the cigarette's not going to make it in. Uh, nice little cap. Uh, and then it does have the uh, the very rarely seen under boob. Um, so that's kind of, you know, in there vibing. Um, the weapons, again, are going to be the coolest part to it. I think this will fit with the theme um, uh, of the others. They, I think they try to kind of theme everything together. This These skins would have worked so well with the motorcycle skin from last year. Uh, as, as an overall theme, but here we are. We've got kind of like more modern weapons here, but it does have that kind of almost like Constantine or Max Payne feel to it. I see a lot of like, you know, with the, the crosses and the chains um, and like the kind of bound elements is even like this little siren thing on top uh, and then the shotgun. And then I, one of the most unique aspects of this is the pistol for the gunslinger uh, being more of like this compact, a uh, semi-automatic or automatic pistol, more like a Tech 9 or something like that. Uh, I think that's super unique. Uh, a lot of the pistols aren't really, they're all basically just pistols. This one's kind of feels like it's super unique. Obviously, this would work cool. Actually, if you think about it, the forward channel that they have, the Gunslingers have um, with this pistol would actually look really cool. Um, this is it next to the character all put together um, and all those extra things. Now, I'm sure these will change a little bit um, once we get them into game. Uh, but this is the winner for Gunslinger. Next, we have the winner for the Mages. And this one got a pretty varied response. Uh, we went through some of these, but you can see kind of like this holy cathedral look to it. You have almost like this devil look here on the left side. Uh, you have like this in-between uh, look here with this one on top. And then the winner ended up being very different from the rest of them um, is going to be this one here with 32% of the votes. I think this works with summoner the most uh the kind of natural elementalist feel to it uh, but it's like this kind of very layered flowy silky dress um with a lot of flowers and floral elements up on top here and then you have uh, a sorceress weapon here a summoner weapon here arcana or arcanist weapon here and then the bard uh here on the bottom so uh very natural almost like a wood nymph or you know like a a wood elf or a wood fairy, um, that kind of feel to it. So very naturalist, uh, a lot of flowing open parts to it. And actually it's kind of cool because regardless of what styles you like, I always like it when they have, you know, these kinds of skins that have large silhouette changes, right? So like the fact that this kind of spreads out and has a silhouette break and looks different uh, is going to be pretty cool, especially uh, with the different kinds of uh, mages that we have in the game. So this is maybe um, an alternate version or something that goes on underneath. And then you have the added elements. And I'm sure people are going to have a field day with these kinds of head accessories, um, mixing them with other skins. You can think about even putting it with the Alar skin, which does have kind of a floral theme to it. Um, and then you, they go through all the parts and pieces on how to put it all together. 
um, for the art team that has to ultimately create it. This is the reference material, some of the textures and materials that they would use to put it together. Um, and this is it kind of, uh, this is a paint over. So shown in game uh, with the paint over there. But uh, let me know, this is this is the mage skin. We will get this for the, uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm guessing by the time we get this, uh, we'll have at least Arcanist, maybe even Summoner out. So you might be able to use this on all four mages by the time we get these skins. And lastly, for the assassins lastly for us well we have specialist up next for artists but we obviously don't have that in the west um and this one i'll i'll be honest with you i was pretty disappointed about uh i was really rooting for this one here there's definitely a lot of pop culture uh that references this kind of style uh, i even immediately think about like ghost runner in recent years uh but e even if you didn't like the head or the treatment there or if they couldn't do the, the horns like this i just like this kind of modern uh you know cyberpunk uh si vibe to it with the assassins i think you can make some really cool weapons out of it for uh you know like like shadow hunter reaper death blade would be awesome um some really cool things coming out of that uh but this one did not win the one that won uh, is this one here and uh you know let me know what you think to me this one feels a little bland I like the covered eye. It's kind of like that Oracle Priestess vibe to it. It's kind of dark and grungy. It's got chains um, and it's got like the heels and everything. But to me, it doesn't feel all that unique in my mind. Now, there might be a lot of people that really dig it. Uh, the weapons here um, are very kind of traditional, uh, you know, simplistic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, and then here are the extra pieces that come together. But to me, I feel like these kinds of weapons in game wouldn't really stand out that much if you saw them, especially if they were glowing, you wouldn't even know what weapons they were. And then this skin here, uh, uh, I mean, maybe once it's already done up and how they treat it or if they make it dieable uh, or whatever, uh, it might stand out really nicely. Uh, but to me, this one was kind of a shock. Even some of these other ones here that you saw for the assassin, I thought were really cool. Um, some kind of unique aspects you could really play up. Um, you know, with the coat down, it's almost like a Trinity uh, from the Matrix vibe to it. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I feel like this one was a bit of a miss, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I will cover the specialist. Uh, it looks like based on the summer roadmap, we will not be getting specialist until probably early spring next year. Um, but this one is the result. So this will eventually be in the game once we have the uh, the artist. And this, it was pretty varied. I mean, these are actually super unique and interesting. Um, overall, I think I like almost all of these, uh, you know, right here in the middle, you can see, and this was actually pretty close. It was 26, 23, 21, 20. So these all got very close. You got the asymmetrical wing, uh, with the extra bit there. You got kind of like the playful, uh, expert here and these two together. I think most people thought this one was going to win, uh, kind of splatoony, uh, with the paint roller. It is an artist that uses ink and paint. Uh, so the theming is really strong there. Uh, people thought this one was going to win, but the one that did win is this one here. And I think this one feels very Lost Ark. Uh, I love having, especially in the artist that has a lot of bouncy animations. She jumps and bounces a bunch. I love having these flowing elements that stick off and can move around a lot as she's moving around. Um, and I think, you know, the kind of overall vibe, this feels very Summoner-esque in its presentation, but you have these fox ears. These were very popular uh, when being made for you know, like the Ari looking skin for the female martial artist. Uh, so these ended up becoming very, very popular. So this is the one we're going to get for the artist. The color variations really sell it. Um, but you can see how the, the main color here really makes a big difference in how the skin is presented. And actually, I would love to have, I think people would love to have this skin for mages as well. I think it fits the class on top of it. So you could probably extend this and maybe do an extra collection. I don't know if they would. Uh, but it, it, it is pretty cool. You can see this in game with kind of like an alternate side there. Um, and then the, the giant fan weapon is pretty cool. Uh, very unique for the artist as well, because they have a lot of paint brushes uh, and things like that. So this is the victor for artist. Next up is the mounts. And this one was very close as well. Uh, overall, I think people, <laughs> some people really wanted the, the chibi chubby Descaluda. Uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, I think that there was a lot of favor for the Makoko cart, uh, which, uh, Jesus Christ, this is insane. Uh, what, what a ridiculous little zoomer. 
Uh, but the one that did win is I'm pretty happy about is a full on dragon. Uh, and who, you know, hard to argue with dragons. Dragons are awesome. Um, this one's got kind of like this volcanic look to the bottom of it uh, with these extra little lines here. These little cracks uh, coming out. Um, some of them, the design on the back looks like it's almost turning into webbing. Um, you've even got like this really I, I, almost like Florida lease uh, spearhead shape here on the back of the tail. I think the colors are very um, thematic. And if they had different colors, like you can imagine these wings being more greenish or more bluish or more purplish, uh, a lot of cool options there. Uh, you can see with the side, the prof profile and the side profile, um, there's, you can, we can do a lot with the wings. And I like the fact that they did more Eastern European dragon, um, you know, kind of like with the more of like a wyvern with the, the claws down in front, uh, big tail, big bulky, very spiky. Um, I always like those kind of dragons. The effects could be really cool. The jump could be really cool. This is them showing what the jump could look like, um, jumping forward and almost doing like the Deathwing Cataclysm dropping fire everywhere uh breathing fire having smoke maybe it, like this is kind of like the pinata where sometimes the animation succeeds and sometimes the animation fails and they have different effects uh these are like kind of little animations having this fire and brimstone coming down uh would be really cool what a cool animation that could really have uh there's like a meteor impact there as well so this is the mount that won so we'll eventually be seeing this dragon in game and i can definitely seeing me uh it, i think this is a perfect mount for like a berserker or a destroyer you know just that kind of heavy armor fire and brimstone death from above uh kind of look and lastly we have the pets and i'm not really all that surprised that the chibi vicus won here here are the other submissions that got close um uh, we've got like the the two, the two honeys that um, coming together, like I guess it's the dinosaur. I always call it Reptar when I see that. Um, a, little, a little bit of an Argos uh, pet that had, I think, different variations and animations. But the Vicus here, like little dragon Vicus, uh, is what you get. Very chibi, very cute, uh, small proportions, uh, and probably will have super cool animations. And again, these usually have, uh, the last time they did Cuckoo Satan, uh, as a pet, it came in, you know, two or three very varied colors, which is really cool. So you can see <laughs> it's like Vicus's mechanic here showing that maybe she can have you do uh, a key press, uh, different, you know, color animations, different variations here. The effects and the pet animations here are really fun. Uh, having this kind of like a balloon ball. This reminds me of um, Rising of Shield Hero, the little balloon monsters that would bite onto him. Having the hearts, uh, a little throne she can sit on going up in the air with hearts and things like that. Uh, the size being really big, usually with these kinds of pets, they make them really large. Um, and that kind of uh, size difference really makes the pet stand out, especially with the advanced glow, as you can see her here. But uh, I think this is a great pet. People are really gonna love it. Uh, and I'm sure that the art team is gonna do it justice. This is kind of like right up their style, uh, especially for pets in the game. Um, this is some you know extra image here where she sits on her sword, uh, has a little meter there, but yeah, this is the pet for uh the anniversary and that brings us to a close let me know what you thought about all of these these are all the victors we have the pet here is going to be the baby chibi vicus we have the dragon mount we've got the uh specialist skin here the kind of like floral pattern uh specialist skin we've got like the very dark oracle looking um assassin skin and we have this flowing summertime fairy mage looking skin we have the kind of tech spec ops uh, hired gun mercenary looking gunslinger. Uh, and then we have like the Kingsman looking male gunslinger. We have like the fighter, modern athletic wear, uh, martial artist, female martial artist. Then we have like this secret service, uh, special ops, ink viper striker. And then we have the big man, the mafia boss, Eastern European officer, uh, warrior skin and that's all of them put together we don't really know when these are going to show up in the game uh, I imagine these are going to be out in Korea in you know like early fall or late fall maybe fall time sometime uh, and then hopefully they will do uh, a worldwide release celebrating the anniversary giving it to all regions at once which would be awesome uh, but let me know which one was your favorite were you excited disappointed uh, is there anything that shocked you uh, and how are you feeling about these skins down below? If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content, link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.